Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, August 10th, 2022. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth or Longmont Public Media. Got a full moon, big one. I know the media is calling it super moon because it's a little closer to Earth than normal, but it's actually really hard to tell by the human eye. But super moon, there you go, uh, on Thursday. The sun's pretty active. We got a number of spots north and south of the equator that are uh, active. We've had some aurora uh, activity in the higher uh, latitudes. Looking at drought, uh, going from last week to this week, we've had a much improvement across the southern part of the state, and you'll see why. Rain keeps coming in our little area of complete drought freeness in north central Colorado as uh, still there and growing a little bit more so it's fantastic we see going nationally from the areas of the south and this axis from Arizona to Colorado things are getting better uh, little holes in the drought some places have had some relief down in Texas that should change soon we should start to see some moisture and cooler weather in Texas for a while here's our seven-day precipitation total you can see mostly mountains in the southern southeastern plains got it northwest is dry and extreme northeast corner dry as well doing the severe weather animation from May through June July and the second week of August <clears throat> you can see we still have the possibility it's going to drop off quickly here but we still and get some severe weather. We even had a marginal risk uh, one day this week with all the flooding that occurred. Looking at uh, storm chances and severe chances over the next four days, nothing on Wednesday, totally dry. Little chance right over the I-25 of some thunderstorm activity. Pretty much the same for Friday and then it bumps a little further east on Saturday. No severe weather, just a chance of convection. Uh, looking at the surface map for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, the red hashed here is where heavy rain and flash flooding is possible. And you can see over the next few days that just shifts closer and closer to us. Smoke is pretty much non-existent. Some fires up here, smoke is being carried around the ridge in a way. So our normal High temperatures drop another degree, 88 to 87, 59 to 57 for nighttime temperatures. We stay pretty hot at the upper edge here until we get to the weekend, and then we go to the lower end of the temperature range. You can see how dry it is at the end of this week, and then by Sunday and uh, next week, rain chances really come back and stay. And all that's because of proximity of the high. It's pretty much sitting right on top of Longmont uh, here on uh, Tuesday, I'm sorry, it should be Wednesday p.m., wrong label, and the moisture is going up and over the ridge here. Looking at that pattern a day later, uh, it just doesn't move very much at all. Moisture is down here and being shunted out into our west. By Thursday p.m., there it is. The, yeah, the visible satellite, or not the visible satellite, but visible in the water vapor satellite, and this is precipitatable water forecast. It's inching closer by Thursday evening, but uh, not quite here yet. And then by Monday noon, we've got a ridge sitting over us, but the high center is over to Oklahoma. So we have a wide open uh, flow from the Gulf and the oceans and here it comes. That should be a blue H. Uh, Monday, the thunderstorms are widespread, rain every place. And then Wednesday, the pattern doesn't change much. It's still a river of atmospheric moisture over our heads and thunderstorms and rain in the afternoon. So let's take a look at in motion. Let's keep an eye on that ridge here for Friday, Saturday, just keeping us dry. And then the south winds return on Sunday. <coughs> the high center wobbles around Texas, Oklahoma, and just keeps on going. Here we're into Tuesday, Wednesday, the next forecast period. And the high is down here in Texas. And we just have we have north flow for a little bit there. And then it's gonna arc back around from the west, southwest again. 
Again, summer temperatures don't mean too much other than it's abnormally cool in midday here because of the amount of moisture in the atmosphere, then the thunderstorms blossom right after that. So cool, thunderstorms, nighttime. And then the moisture returns to us, so then the thunderstorms are falling uh, all over the place. Lots of coverage of clouds, showers, and thunderstorms into the middle part of next week. So the real map that matters is this precipitable water, how much can be rained out of the sky. The browns are below normal and greens are above normal. Blue is even higher than that. So I can up in Wyoming we've had some blue shading there. So it just stays entrenched through Tuesday, Wednesday, going into Thursday. There's a little dryness here. This is that north winds, a little backdoor cool front pushes the moisture back to the mountains. The western slopes never get out of it. And then it comes arcing right back over by the following weekend. And by the next weekend, half of the nation out here, the west, is really moist. So here we go. Thunderstorms, you saw them in the temperature, the blossoming of thunderstorms and the cooling of the rain. So here's the actual future radar. You can see it's dry through Monday, and here it is, Monday, the afternoon pulse happens, crash all over the place. Here's Tuesday, thunderstorms all over the place, moving out into the plains. Wednesday, more to the south, southwest part of the state gets kind of suppressed a little bit late next week and then begins to come back for the following weekend. We'll do one more afternoon here. There you go, thunderstorms in the eastern plains. So, the next five days, the rain starts to return, but it's largely in the mountains here, a little bit on the Palmer Divide. But over the next 10 days, very significant amounts of water are building up in rain gauges. we got two, two and a half, three inches up in the mountains, in the central mountains, and even down in the southwest. So, fantastic. So we are touching near records, 90s, almost 100, ending the week. And beginning the weekend, then in the afternoon Sunday, the moisture starts to come back. We cool down to the lower part of the 80s with really good storm chances every afternoon. Longmont Leader, Broomfield Leader will give you frequent weather updates and local news. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Innsworth. Keep looking up.